hi guys today we'll be learning how to fix a zipper on your blouse with seamless finishing okay this is how it's going to look like here so let's get started now i have my blouse already sewn um the remaining step for me is just to fix the zipper yeah okay so um here is my blouse okay so because it's um transparent lace i have one lining attached to the lace already acting as one fabric and i have the second lining okay so i'll just um, put on my sewing machine now and we'll start sewing Okay, so for the type of lining you want to use, it actually depends on you. You can use doll face satin, you can use um, taffeta, you can use any good cotton material. Okay, any good fabric will do for the lining. Just make sure it's um, light weight and um, it doesn't like, conduct too much heat. Okay, that's very important. And Okay, sorry for the delay. I'm just trying to um, fix my machine and put things in place. Okay, so now I'll be fixing the zipper on the first lining and the lace fabric. Okay, so this is my zipper. Now you can have a situation where the zipper is actually longer than the um, blouse itself. It's nothing to worry about. So what's just is you start pinning um, the zipper. Okay. The right side of the zipper you place it on the right side of the fabric this is the right side on the right side of the fabric like so then you place the zipper one inch away from the edge of the fabric okay that's from the um from the zipper itself measure one inch away from the edge of the fabric okay and then you use your tailor's pin to pin it down you have to pin it down so that um, the fabric is not shifting okay so I'm just going to pin my zipper all the way to the top, like so. Can you see? So now I'm going to stitch um, the zipper to the fabric now, minus the lining. You can see the way I've pinned it, okay, like so okay don't worry um i didn't know this part wasn't showing in the camera that's the other side but don't worry it will still show later okay so um here i was talking about in case your zipper is longer you can see that the zip is longer than the length of the blouse at the back so nothing to worry about so what you just do now you're going to stitch down your zipper okay to the lace and the first lining both of them are acting as the same um fabric so I'm just going to stitch it down and then I'll show us. So I'm not using um, a zipper foot, I'm using a regular foot, but just make sure you're sewing very close to the um, edge of the zipper. You can see my thread very close to the edge of the zipper. So I'll just sew this all the way down. Okay. Okay, so now I'm done sewing. Yeah, this is it. So you can see that my lining is still hanging okay so here now i'm gonna cut off the excess zipper i'm so sorry i didn't know this part was not showing i'm sorry so um this is how the zipper is going to look like here okay so um that is the zipper there so i will just open up the zipper into two i'll open it so that i can separate the zipper like that Okay, I've not yet cut the zipper yet. I mean the excess at the top part of the blouse, okay? So now I'll just trim off the excess and leave about half an inch, okay? 
or just trim it off like that so after trimming off then I can now flip over the lining okay to the right side of the fabric okay this is the lining I'll flip it over okay like that you can see my lining here so what I'm what I'm trying to do now is I'm going to be stitching the lining to the zipper and the fabric that we already sewn initially I just hope I'm making sense so make sure you pin use your pin to secure the lining to the already sewn um, fabric so this is how you're going to place this is it here make sure you fold the lining well and it's not having any excess like this can you see then make sure the the remaining excess zipper is you know towards the direction of the zipper allowance so now I'm going to place it like this and I'm going to stitch Okay, so you can see how I'm stitching it down. So I'm stitching the lining to the already sewn one. Make sure you don't sew on the zipper, please. It should be like one eighth of an inch before the zipper itself. So you can see what I'm doing. Just sew. Okay, so you just um, back stitch to secure the zipper there. All right, so I'm going to flip this over to the right side now, so that little can see what we have done. So here now let me flip over my blouse to the other side so this is what you are going to have here so you just pull out the zipper like this and then this is what we have this is the lower part of the blouse and um, here so to fix the second side is the same process the same process so you just fix the other part of the zipper like so and then we'll go ahead to um, repeat the same process on the other side of the um, blouse or should I call it zebra here is the same thing so um, this is the other side now you separate the lining that's the second lining okay then the zipper from the um, other side of the blouse okay that's the second part you are now going to place it on this side here it's very simple okay you place it on this side same thing you should leave one inch away from the edge of the fabric okay here down then you should also pin it and after pinning it for easy sewing you can actually detach separate the two pieces of or the two parts of the zipper okay so I'll just go ahead now and pin um, the zipper to this side of the blouse and I will stitch it Okay, so now let me go ahead and stitch the zipper to this side of the fabric and then we are almost done with the tutorial. So I'm done fixing the zipper on the fabric, then now I'm going to cut the zip, um, the excess zipper like I did for the first one, so I'll just cut it off. You can see that I left about one inch extra. So I'll fold my lining now the same way, like this, I fold it inwards and then make sure you pin it down, okay? 
make sure you pin it down and um, make sure the lining is not um, having any excess while you're folding so that after sewing you won't have the lining popping out okay all right so i'll just pin the lining down to the fabric and then i'll go ahead and stitch both fabric and lining together on the zipper like i did for the first one okay it's really really simple So I'll just stitch that down, it doesn't have to be on the same line with the fabric but definitely not beyond um, the sewing on the fabric, okay? Alright, so I'm done sewing, let me just show us the outcome of what we've done. Okay, so you just flip over to the right side and this is what you are going to have. Very, very easy tutorial, okay? So you don't even need to worry if your zipper is longer than the length of the blouse doesn't really matter okay so this is the outcome of what we've done so far so simple very easy to make this is the uh, outer part and um yeah so if you found this really helpful okay make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, you can leave your questions, your reactions, and don't forget to share. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.